You will first need to remove the rear bumper and the mufflers. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. With the bumper and mufflers off, you will have access to the cylinder heads. There is a heat shield between the heads and the mufflers that you need to remove. The heat shield is held in place by two E12 Torx screws, red arrows. On the right side, you will also need to remove the ground cable, just moving it out of the way. Use a 13 mm socket and remove the nut, yellow arrow, and swing the cable out of the way. Remove the screws and slide the heat shield forward and out from between the head and the muffler bracket. It will be a tight fit, but there is no need to bend the shield. On the left side, the E12s are in different locations, red arrows. Remove them and slide the shield out towards the front of the vehicle. With the heat shield out of the way, you can easily access the camshaft positioning sensor, red arrow right side shown. Due to the position of the sensors directly above the cats, they see a tremendous amount of heat. This can make the small electrical connector tabs, yellow arrow, very brittle. I like to use an E12 torque and remove the single screw holding the sensor in place first, red arrow. Slowly twist and pull the sensor from its port in the engine. Be prepared for a small amount of oil to spill, red arrow. Once the sensor is out, it is much easier to disconnect the electrical connection, red arrow. If you are reinstalling the old sensor, always make sure to replace the O-ring. It's a lot of work to get to these, and you do not want to do it all again because the old O-ring drips oil. Installation is the reverse of removal. Both the sensor screw and the heat shield screws are torqued to 10 newton meters or 7.5 foot pound. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.